and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your uh, ancestral reading, Capricorn. The, the tarot, getting the messages from your ancestors through tarot cards. Uh, but Capricorn, I also did your uh, urgent spirit guide messages for your zodiac sign, as well as I also do your weekly uh, general zodiac sign reading for you, all through tarot cards, Capricorn. So if you are interested in any of that, I'll leave the links over here for you to check out at any point in this video if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards for you, Capricorn. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Capricorn, and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, Capricorn, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments, Capricorn. And also, I would really appreciate it for you guys to take that extra step to support my tarot channel by giving this video a like and subscribe if you do find some cards that resonate with you because it does help me help out my tarot channel a lot and I just am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to do that for me, my beautiful Capricorn. And then finally, before we get into this reading, I just want to sit here and say and remind you, Capricorn, that I don't feel like any type of tarot reading should be making decisions in your life, right? It's your life to live, not mine, not the tarot cards, not anybody else's. So I feel like tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider Capricorn, but ultimately the final decision is yours to make because you know your life better than anybody else. So... With all that being said, lots of major arcana. With all that being said, my beautiful Capricorn, let's just start getting into your ancestor, ancestor readings, uh, reading messages. My goodness, Capricorn, I can't speak right now, apparently. So let's get into your animal oracle cards before we dive into anything else. We have the mouse spirit coming in here, and I love this card so much. Uh, I'll read it out to you. You are overlooking some important details, so pay closer attention to what's going on in your life. So I always like to say, spirit, your ancestors, spirit guides, the other world, the in general, uh, Capricorn, I always say they like to leave breadcrumbs. What I mean by that is they like to leave little signs and making their presence known to you. So how do you figure that out, right? This would be like one of those things of if they leave like a feather or if you like associate like a certain song with some with uh, with somebody, right? It's all in that sense of vein of where it's like uh, at this current point, it feels like your ancestors, Capricorn, are trying to redirect you or trying to show you something that you might be overlooking. Very much so um, in terms of tarot, very much so like the uh, Four of Cups in the sense that like the Four of Cups is where it's like you're sitting under a tree and Spirit's trying to offer you a cup, offer you a blessing, offer you an opportunity, but your eyes are closed to it and you just can't see it. We have the Crow Spirit equaling to number 17, equaling to 8. Um, so write that down for numerology, Capricorn. This is, uh, this card says co-create with spirit. So <laughs> I really like this dynamic a lot, Capricorn, because in this dynamic, this is essentially like your ancestors are really trying to be very hands-on with you at this time, Capricorn. There is something current, like at this point, I feel like you shouldn't feel, I mean, I guess that's dismissive, like you're completely justified in feeling whatever it is that you feel, Capricorn, but um, from a spiritual sense, it feels like you shouldn't feel alone right now because it's like they feel extremely present in your life trying to create something with you. So I don't know, Capricorn, if recently you guys perhaps like try to like make a deal or just uh, did like a ritual even asking for abundance or just asking for assistance when it comes to manifesting but i really do see them trying to be involved in this process with this magician card i feel like this is not only your energy uh capricorn at this time but it also is your ancestors very much so very high uh creation energy very much so 
uh, just a high energy in general. With the uh, Magician card, Capricorn, this is a card of the individual or the archetype of the Magician is someone that is aware that that they are the master of, the own, of their own reality. This is someone who is ready to go down the path, like go down some type of path and really with with like with a bunch of tricks up their sleeve right now with the magician they have the wands they have the sword they have the cups they have every part of the suit um with them and they have a bunch of tools in their arsenal to get them where they need to go and i feel like you guys need to kind of consider your ancestors the those that walk with you not uh that aren't part of this world anymore consider them as like a tool and maybe help utilize them a little bit more include them in your rituals right have you done a manifestation ritual as i'm speaking this i feel i believe a full moon is actually happening uh on saturday the very day of when this reading comes up oh actually i think it's friday so yeah i think on this weekend actually of me recording this a full moon is coming in so do a ritual do a full moon ritual capricorn uh, to bring them in or to bring them in and help you create something because with this pro spirit they're really trying to uh, be more involved in your life and I just can't help but feel like you're not seeing where it is that they're trying to help or maybe you're just not even receptive of their energies in general because maybe Capricorn you're just not aware that they're trying to collaborate with you in some way very much so like a three of pentacles en energy here of where your ancestors are trying to help you now we have this queen of air coming in here this card says objective decision making uh closing or what is this i can't hear <laughs> read upside down clearing away that all no longer serves you and seeing the humor in a situation capricorn so with this i can't help but feel like you know i was saying again before at the beginning of this reading capricorn where i was just like i feel like um you're trying to spirits trying to redirect you your ancestors are trying to redirect you in some type of way capricorn and with this eight of cups as well this is kind of confirming to me that as well it's almost like capricorn you're sinking your energy into something that i mean i'm getting the image of like a dead horse and someone beating it which is not very pleasant imagery but um i guess it, i mean it, i say it just so i can relay the message where it feels like you might be beating a dead horse on something or you're trying to <laughs> i complained about that and now i'm being presented with the imagery of someone like a hummingbird trying to uh receive nectar from an empty hummingbird feeder um it's almost like there's just something that it's like no longer of, of value anymore uh no longer of helping you along in your path anymore and so with the lover's card it's almost like you have to make the decision of finally letting go of that thing clearing away at things that you at once really cared about and maybe you still even care about the situation or the person but um there is this calling almost of like being like being like okay that served me at this point in my life now let's go into a new direction right so in that vein, let's start pulling some more cards for you. We're going to put that to the side over here, uh, Capricorn. And then we're going to just, let's see, let's pull some Necronomicon cards. What is it that my Capricorn should be looking out for at this time? Right. And then after that, Capricorn, I'll be doing a little bit of pulling some tarot cards um, and see what blessings that your ancestors are trying to bring forth to you. So looking at this right now, we have the Emperor card coming in with the Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man. So very interesting. This is definitely a, uh, what I would say, uh, Capricorn, I know we said that we're putting a rest to this, but I feel like it, this, your ancestors are really tapping into this pile again for this, of where it is they need to look out for. I know... I mean, I talked about the beating the dead horse and I feel like it's continuing on with this message of where it's just like, you're trying, like, there's something I can't help but feel like Capricorn, you're sinking a bunch of energy into that just is like, with this hanged man, I can't help but feel like there is just almost like this entitled, not entitled, or feeling, uh, indebted to that's the word like you feel indebted to something and feeding more energy into something and it's almost just like because you feel indebted or like maybe you feel like um something is like 
relying on you or putting pressure on you that you feel this pressure of, or this obligation rather I guess of um, continue feeding into this uh, energy and I can't help but feel like you kind of need to uh, do away with it tower card honey let's go what was I just Capricorn do away with it I mean literally can we get any more of a clear message I mean you just saw me pull it off the top like come on Capricorn take this as the confirmation take this as the sign Capricorn to cut things off that are no longer servicing you take this as the sign of being like it's okay Capricorn to put yourself first um, and do what's best for you at this time I feel like this right here you're doing something that you kind of already know isn't the best for you, but there's just like this sense of obligation, Capricorn. So keep that in mind. Now, we talked about all that, Capricorn. What blessings are your ancestors trying to bring forth to you at this current point? What blessings are Capricorn's ancestors trying to bring forth to them? Okay. Oh, wow. They're definitely trying to bring something to you, honey. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Chariot card, as well as the Page of Wands for you. So Capricorn, um, this could be a person, right? I don't want to go into that narrative. I'm going to just speak of the Knight of Cups as an opportunity. But obviously, as you can even look at the picture itself, or if you had any type of tarot reading, a tarot reader is instantly going to tell you someone's trying to offer their cup to you, or in this case, in this artwork, trying to offer their roses to you. So maybe someone is trying to come in, and if they are, it's coming in really quickly. Some, it would be someone completely new. But let's just go into the narrative of an opportunity instead, Capricorn, um, because I feel more inclined towards that message. So your ancestors really are trying to, again, like they're trying to readjust you because it's almost like they're trying to get you to the same goal, I feel, Capricorn. It's just like they have a quicker route. They have like a shortcut. And I feel like that's what they're trying to get across to you. That's why they're trying to collaborate with you with that crow spirit from before. Because it's like, yeah, like you're going down this path. You have this path um, planned out. You've had it mapped out for months of how you want things to turn out, how you think things should turn out. But your spirit's like, hey, like if you just look over here, like turn left over, or I guess this is right. Turn right over here, honey. And like, you'll get to the same goal quicker. I feel like you're not seeing it. Um, I feel like there's something that you're not considering. Um, and so with this Knight of Cups, this is really them trying to bring forth, like what I was saying before with that Four of Cups, offering you a cup that you're not seeing. But if you were to receive it, Chariot card, Page of Fire, or Page of Wands, fast forward movement, honey. Fast forward movement into a passionate thing. So, hmm. And keep in mind with the chariot card the chariot card only comes up when you are on your correct path so the chariot wouldn't be brought forward to you by your ancestors capricorn if um it wasn't good for you if it wasn't for your highest uh good for your um answering to what it is your highest calling so clarification queen of pentacles this is confirming to me um of how self-sustaining this will be this is confirming to me of how uh yeah, you just you're you. This is such an energy being taken care of with this Knight of Cups, with this opportunity being brought forward to you. Definitely, um, with especially with this Ace of Wands and this Three of Cups, this is definitely like an energy of um, something being very ab abundant. Some like um, for those, I can't help but feel like financial keeps coming up. Um, Capricorn, um, and I guess, it, I mean, these messages don't have to just inter uh, entail financial, but I feel like in this example, it's almost just like something lucrative gets presented to you, um, should you readjust like where it is that your path is going. Um, with this Ace of Wands paired with this Chariot card, I mean, this is more and more forward movement. I feel like this has really come to you extremely quickly, should you just make some edits, right? And it makes sense. I use the analogy of taking a shortcut. This is literally what happens when you take that shortcut, right? Wands represents forward movement, Chariot's forward movement. Ace of Wands, you're going forward into something. It's the most affirming ace in the deck in terms of, um, it's like the, the yes card essentially being like, yes, go into this, lean into this further. 
Um, and then we have the Three of Cups coming in here as well. This is that it's just a victory card. It's a celebratory card. Take note, there's more than one person in here, right? So we can go with that narrative with that Knight of Cups from before, of course, right? For those that like Capricorns that do feel like this message is for in regards to some person, right? Because my readings are always collaborative, right? Because I don't know your life. You know it better than I do. But what I want to point out is from your crow spirit from before, you know, it's that collaborative energy, honey, and they're celebrating with you. There's your ancestors, Capricorn, I just want to say are extremely present in your life. Probably the most present um, in the readings that I've done so far for the zodiac signs. So I really want to just go back and emphasize what I was saying before. It's just like, if you're feeling alone at this time, um, tap into the spiritual side, meditate more because your ancestors are really enmeshed in your life at this point. Some of you guys probably um, view your ancestors as like your actual spirit guide. Um, it's very interesting how invested these your ancestors are into bringing forth some type of blessing into your life. It lets me kind of know that this is... Um, I heard the word karma, but it's almost just like well-deserved, like something that you've been deserving, that you put a lot of energy, like it's just almost like it's time for some good. It's time for Capricorn to start experiencing some blessings uh, for a change. And I feel like that's what your ancestors are trying to get to you, Capricorn. So yeah, that is the cards that I have for you, Capricorn. If you did enjoy this reading, again, remember to let me know in the comments below. Um, and then be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Uh, and then also be sure, Capricorn, to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Capricorn, I love you so much.